So let's move towards coding. I will share my screen for that. So here you see the code console. In this class, we'll go into the detail of that. We'll start from the zero and then we'll build up many triangles and many other shapes using programming. So see here, uh, let's in, I'll just introduce the basic commands first, which are into text. If you want to write something or if you want to print something in programming, these three are important commands. So one is print. I will add this, I'll make a, I'll connect this. Okay, with a tick sound. And then I can write anything inside. Okay, I'll write for example, uh, a V. And then if I run, as you see here, you see the name, a V. It's written here, right? I can add colors to this, the text color. I can add on top of this. What will happen if I attach at the bottom? See, it won't get attached at all. Because the color restriction should be given before you write, no? Once you, once you write something, you cannot change the color in programming. So you'll have to give the color restriction before you write, okay? So here, you can choose the color, run, and you see here, it is changed, color is changed. Okay? For example, I want to write my uh, surname as well or something else as well along with this. So I'll, I can either add inside here only. See, Avi uh, Technology and I will Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I can add a different label here. And here I will write something else. For example, one, two, three. And run. So as you see here, it's one, two, three. But if you observe, both of them are joined. There is no space and not even new line. Here I have written one, two, three, new line. But there is no new line here. Because we'll have to give a separate command for that. If you want to give a space, we'll have to add the space here. I can add, I can add the space here before one, two, three, or after hubby. Like this. If I sp add space here, I'll press run. And you see here, the space is added. Are you all understanding this? Right. So the space is added here. Then I can add the space before one, two, three as well. Run. See, the space remain all clear and run. So here is the space. But now what if I want to add this into a new line? Then in the text, there is a command, new line. I can add this in between of this two. Okay, and I'll clear and run. Avi, one, two, three. Now both have in separate lines. Okay, I'll remove this space. If you see here, the space is still there. So I'll remove the space. And again, press run. Avi, one, two, three. I can uh, write my name in short or long, whatever it is. Run. Okay, if I remove the new line, then PM. I'll add the new line back. It will create a new line. So this way we can write something using code. Okay. Uh, now let's do something. Take for example, I want to write something for say how we I want to write hubby, but not one time. I want to write it two times. Okay. So I'll use this. Again, I'll do, I'll write hubby and run. One more time, then
a week. So now three times. But what if I want to write say ten times, eleven times? Then it's a problem, no? How many times we will add the blocks? And for that, we can take the loops. We can go to the loops. There we have repeat, repeat while, and this now multiple types of loops. We will learn various loops. I'll use repeat for now. I'll add here, and I'll add print inside the repeat ten times. And as you see, how many is now written? Ten times. If I add the new line inside, run. I'll have to remove this. Run. Okay. So now how is written ten times? If I change it to eleven times, twelve times, it will print that way. Got it so far? Any question so far in uh, you know using the text with programming? No questions. Okay. Yeah, Havisha, you want to ask anything? Sir, what is a clear button? Clear button is just to remove. Just clean, just clean the slate. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Any other question? No, sir. Fine. So I'll share the screen again. Resume from there. As I have written here, Abhi. I can write the numbers as well. Say one, and it's one, 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 one. Okay. I'll I'll share this URL to you as well, so you also can do this kind of writing. Now the question is, what if, what if I want to write not just this one, 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 but I want to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How to do that? So one way is easy, easy way is one, okay, and then two, then again a new line, and three, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but again how many times will we write that? Right, it's a lot of work, no? Again, if it is just ten, we can do it. Okay, chalo. Okay. We for some, for a while we'll do it. But what if hundred? <laughs> Will we write those? <laughs> no, right? So for that, we can use the math in the programming. And for that, there is a concept called variable, which we'll use. Variable. Now, what is a what is a variable? If you remember, we have discussed this in our previous class briefly. Can you tell me what is a variable? Any of you? What is a variable? Raise your hand if you remember. Yes, Shreyash. Sir, a variable uh, you can you need to uh, a variable is a code that is not in the computer. You you can create it. It's your own code. Mm, see, any code is written by us only, no? Any code is written by us only. Yes, can. Yeah, yeah. A variable is a block of code in which we can store data. Oh, yes, you are right, Dhyan. Uh, you want to say something, Soumya? Sir, it's an alphabet that is symbolizing any number. Very good, very good, superb. Both Dhyan and Somya both are correct. See what happens. 
uh, if you remember we took the example of birthday party in the school what do you do at your house when you have the birthdays of yours or maybe your brothers sisters parents we celebrate we decorate the house no if we celebrate if we are celebrating the birthday we will celebrate we will decorate the house we will put up the balloons and ribbons and we will have the cake we will have the balls and a lot of stuff we will with a big you know, uh, we will we'll write happy birthday to uh, the name whoever's birthday is there if it is the birthday of astha we will write happy birthday astha right we will do that and we will be we will be happy doing so but if we do that in the school say in the school we have 1000 children studying or 2000 kids studying so in that case what will happen that every day there will be maybe 3 4 5 6 7 10 birthday every day will we blow up the balloon every day 365 days will we put up the ribbons for all the days no so what will we do will will do a will implement a different idea what will we do we'll just keep one room ready forever one day you all will go there we'll put a lot of ribbons decoration you know lights balloons whatever you want to do just put up everything and keep them safe that's it and behind the, in the wall we'll write happy birthday in the big letters right we'll do that no correct we'll do that and then what will be our idea what will be our idea we'll have the happy birthday written forever happy birthday that is written now okay on the wall below we know that below this happy birthday we'll keep changing the name one day we'll write astha the other day we'll change and we'll write arohi the other day we'll change it to maitri or the other day we'll have a there tit yes we'll keep changing that no so here there is something this point this particular point it keep it keeps changing the value the name here the value is name it keeps changing maybe on a cardboard or maybe on the wall we'll have a particular spot which keeps changing this remains fixed this remains fixed but this keeps changing and so it because it is changing we call it a variable right a variable when we say now in the programming let's come back to programming if we say 3 3 is a fixed or variable 3 is a number can we change 3 no 3 remains 3 right 3 forever remains 3 only we cannot change the value of 3 if we change the value of 3 it becomes 4 that's a different number altogether yes it's a different number altogether so 3 remains 3 forever but what if we use an alphabet let's use an alphabet we call it a okay we call it a and then we'll say today today a is 1 today a is 1 the next day we can change the a to 5 as well but a will remain there the other day if we go a will be 7 the other day it will be 2 the next day it will be 100 the next day it will be 62 any number it can take any number so that becomes variable if you have seen the digital displays at the airport at the bus station at the metro station 
at railways we have the digital display no into that we we see the name of the flight the number of the flight number of the metro the train have you all seen that yes so that screen is a variable that screen is variable it keep changing the values what if you have the painted boards <laughs> is it is it really feasible that a painter would be there and he will keep painting the name of the flight or the train coming up and going out not possible no it, it's a big job it's a possible it's, it's possible but it's a very big job we'll have to change the boards the entire day we'll have to keep changing the boards and uh, you know a lot of people will have to work or we'll keep a white board or a black board we'll write the flight number and name using chalk stick or marker pen rub write again rub write again that also becomes a variable but here this digital display is a variable the values keep changing so a or b we can we can consider a b c d any alphabet or even combination for example variable name any name we can give to the variable like count value increase any name you can give the your name as well as variable okay and then assign the value today x is 5 the next day x is 2 that's change that is easy is it easy yes it's easy no have you all understood the variable now any doubts in variable what a variable is any question all understood variable perfect great just raise your hand if you have all have understood the variables raise your hand yeah great nice <clears throat> so let's go to the programming again so here we want to write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but this is a lot of job lot of work it's a big job so we can go to math and variable combination so first we'll go to variable and then here we'll take this set set i so i is the name of variable here okay we will attach here i and then go to math we we'll attach here so i is 1 okay i is 1 and then we we'll keep changing the i We we'll keep changing the i. I of here will use the variable i and run. So it's zero at present. Why? Because we are not assign any, not assign any value to i. Then we will assign one. Clear and run. See here, it's one. Then what will we do now? We'll go to math. We'll bring this function. operation this is operation 1 plus 1 as it is written here we can plus minus multiply divide and rest to all sort of operations we can do we will learn those gradually but here uh i'll again go to variable and then change i change now we are changing so i by and again go to variable and We will increase one into the i. So what the i questions here? Yeah. Sir, I didn't understand still. What is i? What is i? I is is the name of the variable. We can change i to anything. Rename this variable to Sia. Okay. So as you see, as you can see here. 
all is cr you can do anything but you are important is you are assigning a value which you can change if you write one you cannot change right but here you can change now you can change it to plus minus multiply you can do any operation understood now cr great so here now our variable name is cr we are increasing one into cr and then we'll print again so we'll go to text print print what print cr and run is a difference as well here we are saying change cr by we are not saying change cr to okay there is a difference when we say change cr to and when we say change cr by when we say by means add that particular value so value becomes cr plus 1 that is 2 so now 2 is being added into 1 but if you want to change it to 2 then we'll have to set set cr to cr plus 1 and now if we clear run this is one now i have to print print variable cr and run so it is 2 understood now we are printing cr and that is 2 we can add a new line block and run so it's 1 2 now if you want to do 1 to 10 it's very easy simple what should we do yes abhiram we can use the repeat loop correct we just will have to use the repeat block do it 10 times we will print 10 do it 100 times we will print 100 simple right so we can bring the loop and we we'll put inside the loop run 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 change here from 10 to 20 oh sorry 20 run goes up to 21 why 21 because here 1 is already done One is already printed, and from there we are starting. So it goes up to twenty one. If you want to up to twenty, then do it nineteen times. Run. It is nineteen. Oh, sorry, twenty now. So now, can you imagine how easy the task of writing numbers has become? Uh, you know, become for us how easy it has become. we just can change here from to anything thousand it will print a thousand times only one program program will remain same forever just keep changing the numbers if you write here one lakh a million one crore it will keep printing yes there is a technical limitation in terms of processing power the capacity of the variable will will discuss that maybe in later class somewhere but this has become so easy we can change the number and we are done clear let's discuss questions yes arohi sir can you share the screen again me yes sir is said that Set C R by C R plus one. Then you say that C R plus two plus one. I didn't understand that. Say again, Arohi. Ma'am, sir, in instead of this block, there was another block that change C R by C R plus one, mm -hmm. and then you said that C R plus two, and then C R will be added to one. I didn't understand that. Okay, I, I'll explain. I'll explain that, but for that I'll have to make the change in this code. So let's discuss 
other questions if any other questions let's discuss those first then arohi will come back to your question okay yeah any other questions arika sir i did not understand that cia one okay uh okay fine okay we'll discuss arohi's question now uh see i I'll, i'll just change i'll have to change this code for that Uh, I will yeah, remove all this. See now, first thing, a variable is a place. Uh, I share the screen or no? Oh, I have to share the screen. Sorry. Okay, I share the screen here, and I have removed some of the code. And as you see, there are just two lines now. First thing. variable is a place okay it's just a place like a ball imagine that variable is a ball can you can you put can you store sugar in this ball how many of you say how many of you say you can store sugar in the ball yes all of you must say yes okay can we put a grain can we put some grain in this can we store water in the ball yes can we put on milk yes can we put on some marbles can we put on some stones the tinier stones it can hold anything it's a variable right the ball is a variable it can store the value same way in programming the name that we have c i is a name we can use a b c d we can use i we can use x y z we can use c i we can use sarika we can use count we can use numbers we can use anything any word you find in the dictionary you can use that as a variable okay got it so it's a variable is a place where you can store the value good thing is you can change the value you can increase the or decrease the level of sugar inside the bowl right or what other day you can just completely empty the sugar and or in the milk then whatever is required use the bowl for that so ball is a variable it's a place where you store the value same way in programming variable is a place where you store the value it can be a number it can be text as well we'll in future we will learn using text into the variable at present we are using numbers okay so i'll share the screen one more time now variable is clear okay great ah uh, so now let's use Uh, let us find the difference between change by and set when we say change by see it's it's just typical english when we say something to change by what do you mean when we say change the uh, change by 5 what does it mean we increase by 5 right we increase by 5 but when we when we say set to what does that mean set to 5 means exact 5 that exact number that is the typical english no right so that is the difference here in the variable as well when we say change by that means increase by that number it can be 1 here it can be 5 it can be 6 anything if you print now oh sorry got it so here the one is this and then we have changed by 
you have changed by 6. So, 6 has got added into the original value that is 1. So, it is printing this 7. 1 and 7. Clear now? Great. Clear now? Uh, Sierra, Sarika, everyone, Arohi, fantastic. So, when we have used operation, it's the same thing. When we say When we use this operation, what does this mean? 1 plus 1, how? By, change by how many? 2, 1 plus 1. When we say, change by 1 plus 7, how many? 8. Right, 7 plus 1, that is 8. So it will change by 8. When we say, change by CR plus 7, then whatever the value CI is holding, that is 1 in this case, 7 plus 1, 8. So it will add up that value. But when we say set CR to something, either a variable, either a fixed value or a variable, change CR to CR. Fine. Change CR to CR and then print CR. Run. One, one. Let's take another variable. Set. We create a new variable. Say anay. Oh, we have changed all the values. Sorry. We have to create a new variable. Create variable. Anay. Okay. Okay. How Okay, so now we have two variables. Anai, Havi, C. Okay, Anai, we already renamed C with Anai, right? So now Anai is the variable and Havi is the another variable. We go to set Havi to math 1, 2, 3, then print Anai. Here we print Anai, then set Anai to Havi. And then print Anai. In between, we'll add the new line. Now see what happens. See what ha what has happened. Here we have one. Anai is one. Havi is one two three. Okay, and then we are printing Anai, and after that we are saying that set anai to havi that means give the value of havi to anai okay so value of havi is given to anai and then we are printing anai so that is one two three not did not understand that okay i'll just rename that again and you'll understand maybe see anai is back to siya so now CI is 1. Rename to ROV. ROV, okay. So CI is 1, ROV is 5. Print CI, that is 1. Set CI to ROV, that means ROV is now, value of ROV is given to CI. What is the value of ROG? 5. So that is given to CR. And then you are printing CR. So that is 5. You are not changing. See, this is set. This is not change by. If you use here change by, change ROG by change CR by ROV. Change CR by ROV. So now ROV's value is not assigned to CR, but ROV's value is added to CR. ROV's value is added to CR now. And then you print. Okay. 
run one and six one and then five is added to one that is six all clear any question yes here yeah. sir it means when it, when by comes means 5 plus 1 it gets added yes okay. yes when you say by change by that means it's added when you say set it's exactly a sign oh thank you sir we have two variables here when you say orange when we say orange change by green that means green is added to orange but when we say assign empty this and this clear so this is variable yes chandrashekhar i am ishita chandrashekhar patil yes shikha chandrashekhar patil okay tell me sir if we remove the one what will be sorry if we remove the one what will be if we remove one what will be means you want to say that if we remove a one from the variable yes sir if you remove you yes as we have added we can remove as well i will share the link so you can do that operation you can use you can go from 100 to 1 or 50 to 1 try doing that or at least 20 to 1 try doing that okay sir so start with 20 that will be your homework your project work start with 20 20 19 18 17 16 up to 1 print that yourself print your name use different colors okay so here i have we have this code screen in front of us and we will we'll start coding in this so just to recap we can bring the print and we can add the comments and we can write something in this hello sorry and run okay so you all have seen this now let's try to print something else let's try to make a design using text with a concept of binary images okay binary images if i write here star it will print the star i have just placed star here and press run so as you see it prints the star if i create some more stars if i put this into the loop let's paste let pull put in the loop 10 times run so now stand time stars right Hmm, got it if i place the next line the new line and run and it prints in this new line so let's create a shape with this i'll remove this for now and so we have the stand time now i'll use the nested loop you all remember the nested loop right loop within the loop that is nested loop and i'll use the new line and run so it creates a shape kind of thing if i reduce this to maybe you know say six times and run or say five times and then run so it looks like a square now isn't it right it looks like a square we can try to write some word as well shall we shall we try to write some character okay let's do so let's try to write 
maybe say H A V I Havi or let's just write H for now. Okay, by the by the way, any any way it's already you know uh, I. If I just increase this or decrease this, if I do it say five, then it looks like an I, isn't it? Hmm? Yes. So it is like you know you'll have to remember the concept of binary images if you remember. We have discussed about binary images. We have discussed about pixels. How do we? How you know computers and digital devices form the images using pixel? Okay. Ah, uh, so five and five. So that makes some you know something like an I. Now, if you I want to make an edge. Okay. Then one let's you know prepare the first portion of edge. So for that. I'll increase this to six and decrease this to four. Okay, and uh, two and two. Yeah, great. So this is done. Now, if I want to make edge like this, uh, here I'll use annotation. So I want to make it something like this, and this that will make edge right so for that i have to use these two lines so I have to, again i have to reduce this to four now two in fact not four just two lines see we have one two three four five and six lines so out of this six line we'll use this third third and fourth we'll use these two lines to form to create this horizontal line of edge. So execute this for two times and run. Then, then we'll add two more times and then add two more times. But then we need some space. Here we need some space and then again stars. So for that we'll have to add the spaces. So let's add repeat. Here I'm adding the space. Okay. So after four stars, I want some space. So I'll use text and the comments and we'll one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five spaces. And then again, the star. Let's see how does it come up. Oh, it's too far. Oh, okay, because we have done this 10 times and then more spaces. So I have to keep only one space and execute the loop for five times. Run. Then, okay, we can still reduce the space a bit. Uh, we can keep that as it is as well, not an issue. Okay, let's, let's continue with this. So we have prepared the first portion. Now we'll have to go for the next lines. For next lines, we'll have to again go to loop and there we'll print only the stars and not, and not the space. So we execute that, uh, this lines for two times and this for Okay, let's try for nine times. Add a new line. Run. Okay, so we'll have to add some more stars. So we can increase this up to 15 and run. Oh, okay, 15 is more, so we do it to 30. Okay, then and then a copy of this. The same thing. Run. That's H. Isn't it? Hmm? See. It looks like an H. Right? you all understood this how we prepare a character out of the star 
Have you all understood this? Yes, no, yes. Arohi, you understood? Just you know, show me your thumb. Show me your thumb if you all understood. Wow, all of you, super. Very good, very good, fantastic. Viplav Soumya, uh, Dharmansh, turn on your camera, yeah. Hmm. Very good, fantastic. So you all understood how I wrote the H. Now see, we'll have to edit the same code to prepare the A, then uh, V, and then I. And that's your homework. That's your homework. Write Havi or write your name. Okay? Try to write your name with coding using this star, asterisks. That symbol is called asterisk in the keyboard. Use the loops and print command. You need only two commands. Loop and print. That a new line, yeah, three commands. You need only three commands and you are done. Try to write your name. Okay, now we'll go towards drawing a triangle using the text. We'll use the loops for that. And now I'll go to loops and we'll bring this counter, for loop. Okay, there. And start with, see what I want to draw is a triangle. So I'll start with one to zero and then one, and then we'll go again to loops, J, and then go to text, print, then again, bring this command, uh, quote command and write inside star. I'll print star. Now see what, hap what happens. Uh, so many stars printed. Now I will just break that into a shape. See what happens. I will just remove this for some time. See, now what, ha what will happen? For i, 1 to 10. i is a variable here. So 1 to 10 increment by 1. So star is printed 10 times here. Okay, it is printed 10 times. Now I will put this inside. So now what will happen? 10 into 10, that means 100 times. The star will get printed 100 times, 100 times. Because it is multiplication. If you put inside, it is multiplication. And then I will I'll break them into the lines. So for that, I will go to text and will print the new line, run. So it now prints the 10, 10, 10, 10 stars all in new lines. Great. And then last, I want to form the triangle. That is amazing. Okay, so I, uh, here is the new line command and that creates the separate lines in of the star. Now I'll use this variable i and j. I'm using this variable i and j. I'll go to variables and then use this i. So now instead of 1 to 10, I'll ask 1 to i. I, re I replaced 10 with i with 10. 1 to i. And now see what happens. This is the magic. What is this? This became a triangle. Yes, this became a triangle. Was that amazing? Yes, uh, I know, I know. Why have you raised the, raised the hand? I know. You want to say that you didn't understand. Am I right? No, you understood. <laughs> okay, I'll unmute you, uh, Saloni. Sir, I, I like um, the stars, you made it 10 times on each line. How did you do that? Okay, I'll, I'll re-explain. Yes, Arohi, you want to say something? Yes, sir, can you share the screen again? Because I didn't see the picture. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so let me explain you what actually happened. I will go from the, from the beginning now, and you will understand everything. I am sure. See what happens first. I'll bring this out. What happens here? When I do this, it prints the star ten times. That is right. You all know that it prints the star ten times. One two. If you count this, it will be ten. One two ten. Because we have placed star inside the loop. Print star inside the loop. We can replace the star with dot as well, whatever you want. But it will print ten times. Now I'll place this inside, and we'll join the code. Now, what exactly is happening here? So when I I'll use annotation for that. See what happens in the loop when I when i is equal to one first time. First time the i is one. Then it goes to two, then three, then four. And originally, you if you remember, we printed ten lines of the star, right? Ten by ten. So at that time, what happened? That when i was one inside in inside loop, j was one, and we are printing the star for ten times. So one two ten, one two ten, one two ten every time. So i so one and ten were fixed, but then we change that to variable. That is i. So now what happens? J starts from one. Here, as we say, you know, the variable starts from one, one to i. But what is i? i is equal to one, right? i is one. So it will now print one time only. That is print i. So it will print only one time. If you see here now. Stop annotation and run. So it will print only one star. But then again, next, next time i is equal to two. I has increased because it is increasing from one to ten every time by one. So i is equal to two. Then it will print from one to two times. One two three. So one two three times. One two four. One two five. One two six. One two seven. One two eight. One two nine. One two ten. That's how it made a shape of triangle. And if I change here from star to dot, dot, and see dots, and I can make them colorful as well. See here. I'll go to star. I'm uh, sorry, style. I'll go to style, and there I have text color. I can set text color in beginning itself, and I'll bring the color. I'll press run. See the dots are red. Questions, questions. Yes, Arohi. Sir, uh, using code, can we make the um? Can, sir, can you share the screen? Yeah. Sir, um, if the stars can we make the stars rainbow color? Yes, we can program like that. Yes, possible. You have to just uh, as you know, C R wrote that how we with a sequence. You'll have to prepare a sequence, and you can do that. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir, I didn't understand how to do the triangle. You still didn't understand? No, sir. Okay, I'll try to explain one more time. Okay. See, uh, see what what happens. I'll remove this so you don't get confused with that. So what happens when you don't place this iron? It was ten. Okay, when it is ten, you understood up to this. Why? See, when you run, what happens now? You understand this? You just show your thumb if you understood this. Great, fantastic. So you understood this. Now, why it happens? Every time it prints one to ten, one to ten, 
वन टू टेन बिकॉज इट इज रिटर्न हियर वन टू टेन वन टू टेन बट नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वन टू टेन वी आर जस्ट रिमूविंग दिस फिक्स टेन एंड चेंजिंग इट टू आई ना आई इज हियर सो आई इज ऑल्सो चेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू टेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो नाउ इफ आई प्रेस रन वट विल हैपन इट विल डिटेक्ट आई वॉट इज आई फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वन सो इट विल प्रिंट वन टू वन दैट इज वन right then i will be changed to 2 so then it will print 1 2 2 so one time and two times so total two dots hmm i'll use the color so now you you'll be able to see on uh, this text color to red and now you see so there are two dots then next time i will be Three, so one, two, and three times, then four times, five times, six times, seven, eight, nine, and ten times. Got it? Great. You should try yourself as well. Once you finish this class, you all can try printing this triangle. Send your try screenshot of your triangle back to me on WhatsApp or email. Okay. Once you finish this class, do it yourself, and then share the link with your friends as well and ask them. that you can you do this triangle and if they can't teach them because if you teach them you will understand better isn't it if you teach a sum to your friend you will never forget the sum anymore am i right so if you teach them to your friends and family members you will you are now you are sure that you want at least forget this okay uh, ruhar Actually, actually, I just named that for fun. My name is Disha. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, um, I asked. So, um, you can do it with I, but what is the J for? So J is the next variable to increase the dot itself. Oh. It is the next counter. So we have used two counters. One is I, another is J. Okay. Bhavi, uh, I'm sorry. Um, how could we do those stars in a line? One line. Yes. Simple, very simple. Just put that into the loop. Just put one star into the print command. Single star. I'll not do that. I'll let you do it yourself, so you know it better. I'll just explain you what to do. You just put one star. into the print command and put that print command along with new line command two commands total into the loop okay. and then execute the loop whatever number of times you want 10 times 20 times and it will print the star in one line oh okay yes arohi sir after that after the class um tomorrow or day after tomorrow sir can i send the picture of the rainbow color havi Yes, yes, do it, do it, do it. Yes, Sia. Yeah. Sir, in the uh, count with I command, in that at the last one by one it's written. Then what is that by one? By one, as I explained, no jump. How many times it should jump? It wants to go from one to ten, but in between, how many times it should jump? One. Just one jump. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or two jump. That means one, three, five, seven, nine. Or three jump. That means one, four, uh, seven, and ten. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, Goran. Sir, uh, it is written no. one to ten by one. What if we put I on by one. If we put I in the by one, then again it would be an error because I when you start with the I, I is nothing. So how can you jump nothing? Hmm. Thank you. Shida. Sir. Yeah. Why should we put I in that? Oh, 
So Ishita, we wanted to prepare the triangle, no? So we place the triangle. Okay. As a... Okay, sir. Okay. Till now we have used coding for uh, drawing loops, the events, the games. Today we will do something for writing. Okay. Today we will do something for writing as well as creating some good patterns with characters. I'll tell you how and what are we going to do. I'll share my screen for that. And uh, yes, here it is. Okay, so here I, I do have this code editor with me. This is a bit different. I'll just give some, I'll just work on some examples for now. You'll be able to practice it yourself as well later and we'll learn more on top of this further. We'll use the loops and the colors and the text. I have the text command print here and I can write something inside. For example, I write, I'll be inside this, for instance, I'll press run. And you see here, it's written. So print command is used to print something. That means to write something on the screen. Okay. I will, uh, okay. I can do, if I want to write this thing so many times, take for example, 10 times, either I'll have to bring the print command so many times, that means 10 times or I can use loop, repeat block, repeat 10 times and run. As you see, Bobby is written 10 times. Okay. But as you see, it's they're just joined together. If you want to print this in the new line, then into text, there is a command, new line, and run. And now it's a new line. Wow. Okay, it's, isn't it amazing? Right? Now, I will draw something creative. I will draw with text. See here, what I'll do, I'll write uh, star, okay? And I'll press run. So it draws the star 10 times. It writes the star 10 times. Now, now here is the real stuff. I'll go to the loops again. I'll go to the loops again and we'll use this for loop with variable. Okay, for loop with variable and into that, I'll use this I for one to 10 times, okay? And then go to variables again. And instead of 10 times, I'll do I times. I'll put this inside and run. Here you see what happens. Now you see this. So have you observed what has happened? Here, this i is a variable. So it runs between 1 to 10. It, it becomes 1, then 2, 3, 4, up to 10. It counts up to 10. And in printing, we have asked to print i times, not one time, not three times. Whatever i is, print accordingly. So first i was 1, so it printed 1 star, then 2 star, then 3 stars, and last 10 stars. Okay. So this way we can create so many shapes. Instead of this star, I can use dots as well. Dot and then run. See this? I can use this underscore, it will prepare the line. Run. See this? Now from smallest to the biggest line. Okay. I can also copy this and do reverse. See what it ha what happens now from again, I 10 to one, not this, this time, not one to 10, this time from 10 to one. So it will go 
in reverse and in reverse it will print so here you see from small to big and big to small right so this way you can create so many shapes and we can give color as well don't forget about that we can add the color uh say this color run and it's different colored now okay so this is a this is the brief text programming i'm going to share this link you can practice it yourself as well okay i'll share the link if you have any questions you can ask now we'll discuss and then we'll end the class yes arohi sir can you share the code again because i have a doubt in the code okay yes so i didn't understand that count with i from 1 to 10 by 1 which which one did you which you didn't understand sir count with i from 1 to 10 by 1 okay it's a concept called variable variable we will you know understand the variable in in detail in the next class see what what variable is variable is a an assignment of the value when you say 10 so 10 is a fixed number right but when you say uh from 1 to 10 now it's variable isn't it we can have any value between 1 to 10 so we use i i is the variable and we have assigned the values between 1 to 10 to that variable take for example in a school if you if at your home if you have birthday of someone maybe your parent or maybe yourself maybe maybe your brother sister whoever then you decorate the room and you put up the balloons and ribbons and you will write the happy birthday on the cake you will write the name everything but in the school when you have for example 1000 children and if you are supposed to when you are supposed to celebrate the birthday of all those kids will you decorate the rooms every day not at all it's a very big task so what is the best thing in that case you will keep one room decorated forever isn't it whoever's birthday is there they will go into that room and will celebrate and come out and on the wall you will keep the happy birthday written and you will change just the name right you will just change the name every day one day it will be say happy birthday will be static and some day you will write mithya some day you will write mustafa some day you will write netri some day you will write maybe saloni right you keep changing the name and let everything be fixed so now this name is variable okay this name is variable is that clear so here we have done the same because we don't have a fixed number we want to print one time as well as two time as well as three time as well as four time so right we can use variable in that case okay fine next any 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 other question about this yes havisha i would request everyone to please stop unnecessary chat everyone please stop unnecessary chat that is annoying for all other kids okay yes havisha sir here is a clear button i doesn't understand the clear button nice very good observation havisha wait uh i'll share that again with clear it just clears this thing nothing else clear done <laughs> okay great fine so here we end the class see you all in the next class stay safe take care goodbye bye everyone